Christopher was determined that come hell or high water, he was going to make it look like this character could fly. We're doing something in this picture that no one's ever done before. There is a team, there's a hundred of them, called the Flying Unit. They didn't have it all figured out in advance. It was a kind of learn-as-you-go process. The first time I ever saw Chris really fly, he came at camera, and for some reason, he actually banked his body, and he blew past us. camera stopped rolling, there was dead silence, and then, like, 50 people all of a sudden started just cheer. The flying happens in the eyes. It must happen as a state of mind. You've never seen a man fly like that before. The one which I really had to work to sort of achieve the grace that it needed, it called for me to do a flip in the air as I'm going up on a crane, arch backwards, and wave all at the same time. Bye. He convinced me when I first met him that he would fly. He's also convinced me he'll walk again. I began to face my new life. I tried to cover up my feelings as best I could. But when I saw our home again, I wept. I do wonder what it was like for him to look out and be like, that's the pond that I skated on. <laughs> now I'm just staring out at the past. Beautiful day in the Brickshires. <laughs> Carpe diem, Alf. People often ask me what it's like to be confined to a wheelchair. I would say the worst part of it is having to make the transition from participant to observer long before I would have expected. Dad was 42 when he had the accident, and Will was almost three. I'm 42 right now, and my son's three. Yeah, it was really only after becoming a parent myself that it really hit home how hard it must have been for him. It was a typical scene. <laughs> it's the haircut movie. Oh, and there's dad waiting in line for his. He was still the same bright, quirky, yeah, thoughtful special. man, but my mom, she was doing everything. Still got it, honey. She was playing the role of mother, physical father, whoa, whoa. and caregiver to a husband. Papa is doing his breathing exercises. We do adjust because what are the alternatives? I mean, it would be miserable not to, but do we long for our other life? Yes, every day. I mean, it's, it's a drastic change. Two, three. Even in my own house, I'd never be able to be alone again. He needed 24-hour nursing care. His care was running around 400,000 a year. While they were better off than most, they weren't better off as most people thought. There was this fear. I'm an actor. It's a physical job. How am I going to make a living? In February of 96, I was asked to make a special appearance on the Academy Awards. That was just a hugely important, pivotal moment for Dad to then move on and say, OK, I'm back out in the world. Another completely unexpected benefit came during my stay in Hollywood. I entered hotels and buildings through garages, kitchens, and I met cooks, waiters, and maintenance crews along the way. Many of them said they were praying for me. Others looked me right in the eye and said, we love you, Superman, you're our hero. The fact that I was in a wheelchair, unable to move below my shoulders, and dependent on the support of others, had not diminished the fact that I was, and always would be, their Superman. <laughs>